eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. And lift off. Vehicle is pitching downrange. What a beautiful day for a rocket launch here. As you can see, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from, from Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, carrying our stack of 60 Starlink satellites to orbit. Moments ago, we throttled the engines down in preparation for max Q, uh, or the maximum aerodynamic pressure that the rocket Vehicle will see. Vehicle is supersonic. Vehicle is supersonic and we should be uh, passing through max Q here in just a few seconds. You can see in that beautiful footage that we did just have Nico stage separation and second engine startup one. Those grid fins are coming out on the first stage there on the left. And then just a few seconds, we should have our fairing deploy. <laughs> you heard the call out and you can see on your video there that we have had successful fairing deploy. And again, today's flight marks the 40th time that SpaceX has reflown a Falcon fairing half since November of 2019. Now, this is also our first fifth reflight for one of our fairing halves and a third for the other half. In order to recover these fairing halves for future flights, we will be attempting to recover them again with the help of our recovery vessels, Go Searcher and Go Navigator. Stage two continuing towards its first orbit. Keep an eye out on the left-hand side of your screen. Stage one, entry burn startup. Stage one, FDS is safe. This burn expected to last about 20 seconds. Stage one, entry burn shutdown. Successful shutdown of those three Merlin engines. Now, if you followed along our missions in the past, you'll you'll know that soot stage on two the continues first stage on nominal trajectory. is an indication that the rocket has flown before. That's because we use rocket-grade kerosene, or RP-1, as our fuel in Falcon 9. That's a carbon-based propellant. As we burn it, it generates soot. So with the engines down, as we're coming in through the Earth's atmosphere, the soot from the plume comes back up on the first stage and uh, deposits deposits it along the surface of the vehicle. Now, if we didn't do that entry burn, uh, the first stage would come in very quickly in the atmosphere, and the aerodynamic forces could they cause it to rip apart. Sonic. So that's why we do that entry burn. And we uh, did temporarily lose the video feed, but we'll uh, hopefully, there we go. Beautiful view. Now, at, at this point, since we're in the Earth's atmosphere, those grid fins will take over orientation uh, and trajectory back towards the drone ship. Now, coming up, stage one landing burn will begin. Shortly after landing burn on, ends, landing burn start up. the second stage's engine will uh, shut down. We should be in our expected orbit there. So keep an eye out, see if we can get a video feedback for the first stage. Stage one, landing leg, deploy. Fantastic, right down the middle. That's our 85th successful recovery. 
100th, uh, 18th successful launch of the Falcon 9. Now keep a, an ear out here for second engine cutoff number one on the second stage. Go. And with that, navi navigation officer, uh, we did hear the call out there for SECO. Navigation officer will be Expected checking loss of signal. the Cape. parameters. Make sure we are in our intended orbit. Nominal orbit insertion. Fantastic news. So from here, we do have a coast phase followed up by the second burn of our second stage engine. These additional burns allow us to modify the orbits of the payload more efficiently than if we were to launch directly into our final orbit. That's just one of those quirks of orbital mechanics. Um, and today, our second stage will coast for 35 minutes until we reach Apogee, which is the highest point of the orbit. Views here on your screen of uh, the fairing and then the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. So once we reach the highest point of the orbit, orbit we will reignite the second stage for a short burn. And you can follow along the progress of the second stage with this animation showing where we are around the Earth. We'll be back here at T plus 44 minutes and 30 seconds for second engine start number two. Starlink deploy confirmed. So that's confirmation of payload deployment. You saw the mechanism separating away, and now the Starlink satellites starting to make their way away from the second stage. Shortly, they will deploy their solar array. Wow, that's a beautiful shot of uh, Earthrise in the background. Um, but shortly, they will deploy their solar array, and then over the next few days and weeks, they'll start to distance themselves out. They've got onboard ion thrusters, and that'll help them make their way into their final operational orbit.